Welcome to Driven Floored. Um, this is XJS collection day, or rather delivery day. The guy that I bought it from, a lovely French chap called Benoit, he's driven it all the way up from nearly the Spanish border, up to St. Malo, got on a ferry. Now he's here, but he's down the road, he can't find us. Um, so I've just jumped in this Mustang and we'll go down and try and find him and, uh, and see where he is and see, more importantly, this car that I bought and see whether it is in fact what it is supposed to be. It's a little bit grey, odd bits of sun breaking through. Um, I think potentially quite pleasant convertible weather. I wasn't quite sure an XJS would ever sit on my drive, but I'm very excited that it is. And somewhere around here, there it is, just poking out. Well, it's looking, it's looking rather nice in the mirror. I think it could be one of those cars that from 20 feet away looks the business and when you get a little closer, I'm already aware of a few things that um, are gonna need addressing from a bodywork point of view, but it's not too bad. And the main reason we've gone for this one is because the uh, mechanicals and the electrics are all in really good shape. This guy's had this car for 15 years. He has loved it and looked after it. He's really not bothered about the cosmetic side, but mechanically, as far as I've been able to tell, it is completely on point. And, and that is such a big issue with these cars. And the fact that it's been down near the Spanish border for 15 years is gonna mean that the UK rust problem is not gonna have impacted it the same way. At least that's the plan. Okay, so we're nearing home. I'm gonna get a little ahead of him. Um, he knows how to find me now. He's gonna be coming in in a second. I'm gonna jump out so I can try and, uh, and film him as he drives in. Okay, so let's see what we have. See, it's arrived on French plates, which brings us to the main point of issue with the car. There we go. Some rust, but um, I've had a good fiddle around and otherwise it is broadly pretty rust free. Wheels are great, really great. And they don't look like they've been refinished. They're in really, really good nick. Immediately obvious is the headlamp conversion, which actually I don't mind. Just sort of general impressions. This this wing dent here, I know about. The, the, the most obvious and concerning thing is this mismatch. You can see the bonnet has been painted in a very slightly darker shade. When we come around the back, whichever goon did that. Also had a go at the lid on the boot. It's not actually quite so obvious. Maybe it was their second attempt and they got a little bit better, but it is um, nevertheless not great. And you can really see it on here as it drops down the back. It's, it's almost matte. We've got this little knock here, which again, I was made aware of and was all part of being able to get this um, at something of a bargain price, missing a tip down here. And then we come to some of the other not so great paint areas. A little bit of arch trouble, which has been poorly refinished. He scraped his gate one day, apparently, as the story goes. What a gorgeous color this more than green is. What a color. There's actually, it's not gonna show, but there's the slightest of, of little dinks in here. Um, <laughs> that bonnet is just, I mean, it's that bad. It shows really quite clearly on the camera. A few other little cosmetic bits and pieces, little bit scrapes, odd little things. Um, quite a tasty little one there. But again, nothing that's all the world. The hood is absolutely brilliant. I'm told this was all redone 15 years ago when he bought the car 
at which point it had done about a hundred thousand and um, he has only done another 20 in the last 15 years has kept it away looked after it and I've used the mechanism a number of times and it's working very very well indeed really quite quick so that's what we're looking at from an exterior point of view I've got a bit of a plan in here the wood isn't actually that bad but the old ski slope is so I'm going to strip that out clear it off clean it I'm going to take it back black for now because it's a lot cheaper than running trying to get it re-veneered the hood is a pretty good mechanism um, we're running along here I've noticed that you have to have the uh, parking brake applied to be able to use it but it just sort of sits back there which is all very pleasant and up it comes so there's not no real hesitancy or anything like that it's kind of quite happy going up doing its thing and you have these little clips here that comes down pop it in the hole and that's it high level of electrics working which on these old jags is uh, always a result electric seats are functioning all working the lumbar passenger side windows not operating correctly judders around a couple of things i know are not operating including the uh, aircon uh, the cruise control but he gave me some instructions around the cruise control and that can function the little magic trip computer in the center been over it tested it a little while working very very nicely we got good floors i'm not i won't bother showing you i've been down there it's all it's all very good rear's pretty nice all the usual stuff carpets um headlining's sort of behaving doing what it's supposed to do so let's have a quick look under here again not a bad story there's a few things that have been sorted leads have been done including the plugs including the tricky number one there's a bunch of other bits and pieces that have been looked after looked at oil and so on and it's all the right color and doing what it's supposed to do so i'm pretty pleased with that he's even got a nice little tag on here showing that uh, 121.8 roughly thousand miles we had an oil change it is apparent from the state of the oil that that is what's likely to have happened and he's only done uh what is it 128 he's only done about 500 miles since then it's all in pretty good shape yeah it's all kind of as i would expect it to be for an unrestored but looked after v12 so here we go we're first drive in uh in the XJS, uh, things seem to be running okay. We are, um, the oil pressure is not exactly doing what I'd like it to see, but um, the rest of it is going quite well. We've already looked at the interior. It, it's actually running and responding quite nicely. I'm only allowed to drive this at this point because I am on my way back from the MOT. Really, it's first encounter with a garage in the UK uh, since going off to France all those years ago it's a great drive i'm really quite surprised by it it's, you kind of get you get sort of to trust the car by using it a little and as a first run i'm pretty happy so if you're familiar with the channel you'll know jjz350 and this gorgeous mustang but it just struck me what a fascinating contrast as we move past the mustang and here's the xjs v12 v8 both of them just lovely things well this thing is clearly a bit tatty but i absolutely love it already it's just so evocative of so much of my history and yet it's something that i've never had the chance to really spend any time with properly it won't be long and it'll have to scrub up for my daughter's wedding we'll see what that looks like the big day let's hope it does well is it going to leave me stranded or is it going to perform beautifully at the moment things are looking pretty positive as long as it doesn't leave the bride stranded we're probably all fine i look forward to that and to what's coming thanks for watching please comment subscribe like and keep in touch